If you're a news outlet, there's a new way to reach more customers. Alexa is Amazon's personal assistant that runs on Echo devices. Alexa can add stuff to your shopping list, it can tell you the weather, and it can tell you the news. Alexa calls this a flash briefing. It's basically a rundown of headlines from any news provider that you just get by asking, Alexa, what's my flash briefing? And if you're a news outlet, it's actually surprisingly easy to add yourself to that list. All you need is your website's RSS feed. First of all, you need an Amazon developer account. You can sign up at developer.amazon.com. You can use your current Amazon account details, or you can sign up again if you like. You can enter your own name or a company name, depending on whatever you'd prefer to be shown on your skills page. Next, click on Alexa, then Alexa Skills Kit, then add a new skill. Now you'll see a lot of checkboxes and questions and all sorts of stuff that looks really daunting, but it's actually fairly simple. For skill type, select Flash Briefing. For language, obviously select your language and enter the name of your skill in the name field. This is the name that will show up on your skills page. In configuration, you can set a custom error message if Alexa can't access your RSS feed for some reason. For example, I'll put Focoid is unavailable right now. Preamble is a short introduction to your flash briefing, so it will play just before Alexa reads out the headlines. So I'll put from Focoid. Then you need to enter the name of your feed. You can have it the same as your skill name, or it can be different just to avoid confusion. So my skill name is Focoid, so I'm going to make my feed name Focoid Technology News. Leave the content update frequency at hourly, just so that Alexa always gets the latest news from your feed. Now for content type, you can select text or audio. If you say produce news bulletins for a radio station, or you just produce them in audio format, maybe like a podcast or something, then you can select audio. Then all you need to do is enter the URL of where you save those bulletins, and Alexa will just play out that audio rather than reading it out herself. But you need to always make sure that you save the bulletins to the exact same file so that it's the exact same URL because Alexa can't accept multiple URLs and you can't update it easily. So as long as you save back to the original file every time, Alexa will always get your new bulletin as opposed to playing news from like five years ago. And that's not news. For text content, if you just write posts on your website, select text as the content type and paste the link to your RSS feed in the URL field. You can select the genre of your content, for example, I'll put technology. Then all that's left to do is fill in the publishing information, descriptions, categories, logo, all of that sort of thing. And then you're done. That's it. Your skill is now ready to be sent to Amazon for review and then publication. You can actually test your skill on your own Echo device while Amazon is reviewing it. If you open up your Alexa app, and as long as your developer account is the same one as connected to your Echo device, your skill will show up in the Your Skills page. Here's your flash briefing. From Focoid, Lenovo released a statement detailing a security flaw in their Lenovo Fingerprint Manager Pro software, allowing hackers to...